Hi, welcome to Miss Annette's little farm in the big city. It's a winter wonderland here this morning. I woke up and there was snow everywhere, which is weird because yesterday it was 40 degrees outside and beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. It's just lovely and quiet. That stillness that comes with the snow, except for the ducks because they're ready to go back to the city. Actually, all the, all the animals are ready for breakfast. <laughs> We got some snow and I'm really happy it's not a whole lot of snow it is just enough snow for me to do something now I've been researching dormant seeding and that means that I am going to go ahead and seed my lawn while the seeds are dormant there are two ways to dormant seed your lawn one way you can do it the frost way and the snow way the frost way you do it right before a freezing. And the snow way is what we're going to do today. We're going to dormant seed because there's about an inch of snow on the ground. Now dormant seed is going to work very well for me because I have some really bare patches and I couldn't really seed my yard because I had so many visitors during the spring, during the fall, and now that it's winter time I'm going to be able to fill in some of those bare patches in my lawn. Now, I'm also going to be putting some fencing around so the animals can still roam around, but I'm going to kind of limit to where they're going to be going. I got to get all the little fencing down from up there. So, that's what first step is to get the area fenced off that I want to seed so that when I let the animals out, they're not ruining the seed or the chickens aren't scratching it up and eating the seed.
sloppy out <laughs> or I'll get him wet and nobody likes it. <laughs> Poor animals. See, that is why I need to build a little thing for the goodies to keep them dry. I have that little area almost and I just have a little spot right there that I'm out of fencing. So I am going to, because I still need to do this. I still, I still need to do a triangle here and then mark all this part off. So this part of the grass will be marked off and this part and this part, but the animals will still have plenty of room because they'll be able to graze in whatever they can find. They like to eat the ducks like to the ducks. The goats like to get into the bamboo and eat the bamboo. And the chickens like to go scratch around in the garden. And so I just will let them do that until spring comes. Now I am out of I'm out of fencing, so I'm gonna cut some bamboo. That's why I have this. And what's gonna happen? When I put the seed on the ground, or on the snow, once the snow melts, the seed will go down into the soil. And as the, we get more snow, more melt, more snow, more melt, and it just keeps going down into the soil. Then early spring, the grass will have a head start. The grass seed will have a head start to start germinating once it starts warming up. It's not going to germinate at all right now because it's going to be cold. Today is a moderate temperature, but we're going to start getting cold going into the colder weather where the seed will just be dormant. And that's why we call it dormant seeding. You can start dormant seeding your grass once the temperatures start getting cold and frost starts happening. Okay, I need to find my clippers and cut some bamboo. I'm gonna use some chicken wire and bamboo for the rest of the area because it's such a big area right here, this area right here, and in this triangle area right here. And then all I have to do is lay the grass. So this is the hardest part of doing it, is for me to mark off the area. And you wouldn't have to do that if you didn't have animals running around walking or chickens running around eating your seeds. So you won't have to do that if you don't have any animals. But I have to do it because I want my grass to grow. Alrighty, let's go cut that bamboo. I don't think I have enough uh, chicken wire. I forgot we used a lot of our chicken wire last year. Um, we put up our new fencing and then I also used a lot of it on the other fence. So I've got to go to Lowe's and get some chicken wire. Just got back from Lowe's, fed the dogs. Hang on. Just got back from Lowe's. 
when I fed the ducks, we got two rolls. They didn't have any 100 foot rolls. And I'm not really quite sure how much I'm gonna need, so I thought better safe than sorry. Now, we'll start the chicken wire. Find the right clippers. the chicken wire up. Then seed and then, then that'll be it. That'll be it. Now you may be wondering how I'm going to attach that chicken wire to these pulleys. And I'm going to use, well, this is how I'm going to use these little fasteners. I'll be using those. better open this little package. And I just need them to be big enough to go around the bamboo and hang on to this. And then I'll put two, one at the top and one at the bottom. And that's it. So, let's get started. Let's see if we can get finished before it gets dark out dark so east early but soon it's going to start flipping and it'll get start getting lighter longer a little bit a little bit a little bit and then spring will be here right <laughs> yay for spring <laughs> I have just enough daylight to go ahead and seed. I didn't buy any kind of special seed. I just bought regular seed. I like the seed that just is just plain grass seed. I like that because we have chickens and birds in our yard and I just don't want them ingesting anything that could be harmful to them. And then you just put the seed on top of the snow and your bear stuff. That's it. We got it seated, got it good. And now I'm gonna go inside and make myself some dinner. Can you believe it's already so dark? <laughs> the animals are getting ready to go to bed. The night lights are coming on. It's getting late. <laughs> so I guess it's a good time. <clears throat> so I guess it's a good time for me to say bye. And thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting me here. I'm missing this little farm in the big city. Try to get outside today if you can. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. And we'll see you next time. A couple days, I think. You hear my stomach? Oh, man. We had to eat something. All right. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Night, Nikes. <laughs>
Night, goldies. Okay, good night. Good. Good night, chickens. Good night, everybody. <laughs>